Hello everyone. We are glad to be here and present our work. It's an Arabic chatbot created based on deep learning techniques. Our plan for our presentation is manipulated like that. First, we give an introduction, then a necessary chatbot, and then we introduce our model. Introduction. Chatbots are conventional agents that are programmed to communicate with users, draft intelligent conversations using natural language. These conversational programs are commonly used for a variety of purposes. These conventional, these conversational programs are commonly used for a variety of purposes. The Depending on the user input, we have two kinds of chatbots: open domain and closed domain. And closed domain. In an open domain, the user can take the conversation anywhere. Although in a closed domain, the space of possible inputs are and outputs is limited. Chatbots are generally classified in two main categories, retrieval-based and generative models. In the first category, the models use a repository of predefined answers and search rules. In the second type, they generate a new answer that cannot be given in data set. Since Turing test was introduced, many chatbots appeared, including Eliza, Alice, and many others. And now we have a powerful chatbot like Google Now, Siri, or Cortana. Arabic chatbots. All the chatbots implemented in the area of Arabic languages seems to be around based and they use maybe small and big data to train models. That's one of the biggest challenges that take us to use sequence-to-sequence -sequence model as an approach of our model. Examples of chatbots created in Arabic are Bota, Nabiha and a lot of them. Sequence-to-sequence -sequence model is a method of an encoder and decoder based machine translation that maps an input of sequence to an output of sequence with a type and a tension value. The idea, the idea is to use two RNA that will work together with a special token and try to predict the, take the next value, where the goal is to estimate the conditional probability of the equation. Implementation our dataset contains 200 pairs of conversations generated manually from Arabic blogs, query, Arabic question answering, and movies subtitles. For the data preparing or cleaning our data, we use the same steps used in other languages, removing used noise, removing Arabic stoppers, steaming, word embedding and paving. For the training, we use OnsorFlow 1.0 and the parameter used are. For the epoch, we use just 50 epochs and just for, for question of time and complexity, of course. The result. After just 18 epochs, our model learns to generate new responses from the data set. The responses generated are not exist in the data set, so the program itself learns to generate new responses from the data set. And as you, as you see, the responses are not matching the user question. It happens because our data set is still small for, for the training. As a conclusion, we have presented our project, the first Arabic 
generative chatbots that uses sequence to sequence algorithm to generate new responses from a dataset. In the future, we plan to reach our chatbots dataset from a large resource and integrate rules as to create a powerful chatbots can communicate that can communicate with people in many subjects. And thank you, that's all.